scientific developments could revolutionize one way humans can reproduce with a technique called in vitro gaminogenesis. But medical experts are questioning the ethics behind the technology, which allows them to create embryos by reprogramming adult cells into sperm and egg cells. Dr. Jessica Shepard joins us now. She's a chief medical officer at Very Well Health. Hey, Jessica, Dr. Jessica. Um, so this is something that it sounds like it's out of sort of a sci-fi novel, right? This is something that scientists have been really trying to crack for a long time. Can they create an egg and a sperm out of other cells? Can they create them outside of the human body? I, no, when, I, I know that you at, can't get into like the real nitty gritty, so you gotta give us like right. the Sesame Street level, but how does yes. this new science work? <laughs> well, you know, if we call it new science, this is where we were years ago with IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. So IVG, also known as in vitro gametogenesis, is when they're taking a cell that is not a sperm or egg and being able to make it a sperm or an egg. So they have done this in the lab setting with uh, my cells. And basically, they are seeing what could we do with this in the future? And that's what science is always looking to do is innovation. So when we look at this, they're looking at this as possible ways for infertility in the future, but also rare diseases and also in the animal community of possibly animals that are going extinct. So there's a variety of different ways that it could be used, but obviously we know that there's some ethical dilemmas there. Well, there you go, because as soon as, you know, you hear IVF, you think designer babies, you think, you know, creating a, a sort of a whole new race of people. Um, so can we, can we talk about sort of the ethical dilemmas as they move forward? What are some of the ethical questions that come up? Well, absolutely, exactly as you said, like kind of that perfect baby or that perfect human. You know, does science allow us to go towards that? And what are kind of the things that we need to take account for before we would consider this as something that is an everyday form of what we can do? And I know when we think of rare diseases and infertility, this is something that has been plaguing people for a very long time, but it becomes this cat and mouse game of do we play God or do we allow science to give us the utility and the innovation to overcome some of the things that we've seen in the past. There's always going to be checks and balances and that's really where we are at this point is if we do have a lot of ethical and uh, decisions to make, we really need to bring that forward now in the discussion so we know how to proceed in the future. Yeah. And, you know, I want to stress to people, as you pointed out, this is this sort of breakthrough is happening in a lab setting. We're talking about animals. It, we're we're kind of light years from human beings right now. But but it did make it has made for some really splashy headlines, particularly when it comes to in vitro. And part of the reason is that it would open up options for people, all types of people who have limitations when it comes to in vitro fertilization. Same sex couples ha being able to have 100%, a, a child that is 100% genetically them, for example. Yes. And that's exactly how they're looking at this. If they were to bring this again into the form of where we can use this in human use, again, just like you said, so there's no concern. This is very early stages done in a lab setting. But I think when they are presenting this in scientific uh, conventions, there is a worrisome scientific and legal ethical challenge that people face. And these are the discussions that have always been at the forefront of a scientific innovation is how is that going to impact us not only now, but years to come. Yeah, I got to tell you, uh, doctor, I went down a rabbit hole trying to understand the, the science behind this. Uh, truly fascinating, but I really think I only, only understand like 1% of what it is. But, but doctor, but, you know, scientists are working very hard and we're not just talking about the creation necessarily of, you know, an right. egg and a sperm, but they're also looking at ways in which they can turn, you know, cells into maybe organs, you know, maybe a liver, that kind of stuff yes. could be transformative when it comes to saving people's lives. And so it's a really interesting area of science. Dr. Jessica Shepard, thank you.